Okay. Uh, <laughs> I apologize for that. I have two computers going here, and I pressed the button on the wrong computer. And so um, uh, this will be uh, <laughs> this will be today's video part B. Uh, and maybe it kind of makes sense because uh, we were at kind of a break point. I was only going to go for another 10 minutes anyway, but, but we we had to have uh, a little bit further discussion here. And and so I'll be uploading two videos. So um, you know before we leave this, the point is that um, there are various forms of energy. There aren't that many. Okay, on our on our um, on our main chart, the, that spaghetti chart for the course, there aren't that many boxes on the left. It's not like there's some magic form of energy that we just haven't found yet. Um, everything is either chemical energy or nuclear energy. Uh, uh, nuclear energy primarily being fission of, of heavy nuclei um, or fusion. And, um, and then there's solar. All right, so um, let me just do a short video, a short uh, part two video here. And I'll have to make sure this all went straight. Um, where we go through units a little bit. And I'll do it quickly. Um, so here's where I go through uh, various units that you need to be aware of. Of course, we all know. Uh, you, I mean, you know the joule, that's energy in MKS, meters kilogram second, and so um, one joule is, um, for example, as, as given there, it's a two kilogram mass moving at one meters per second. One half times two is one. One squared is one. So um, this gives you uh, an example uh, of um, and and it's useful to kind of think about that um, and, and give you an idea. You want to have an idea for how much energy something is. So a joule is a two kilogram mass, mass moving at one meter per second. That's a fair amount of energy if you think about it. Um, uh, you know, if, if something weighed, weighed two kilograms moving one meter per second hit you, you would, <laughs> it would hurt. I mean, it's a fair bit of energy. Now, in the scale of other things, uh, in overall discussion, you'll see it's not really that much energy. So, um, so units, okay. Now, they're listed here, but I primarily wanted to go through uh, two of them. And uh, of course, you know about power and stuff like that. Um, and I particularly wanted to go through the BTU. Now, um, the BTU, that's a, a, a non-MKS uh, form of uh, unit. So a BTU is equal to the energy it takes to raise one pound of water one Fahrenheit. All right, and, and you know, that, uh, that sounds kind of, you know, goofy in today's world, but the thing is that it's still a, a type, a unit of energy that's used extensively. And, um, and so, um, now it's very useful though because you can you can determine things like how much energy it takes to heat some water because if you know how many pounds of water it is and you know how high you want to raise its temperature you know exactly how much energy you have to deliver to that water so uh, a BTU has even though it's kind of a an old system of units uh, English system of units it, it has retained its value because um, it's so useful using that definition. Now, it works out that it's equal to uh, 1,055 joules. So when you perform a conversion, 
one BTU is equal to 1,055 joules. So, you know, remember what a joule was, that was the two kilogram mass minimum in a meter per second. Um, so, you know, a BTU is a thousand of those. So it's a much bigger form of energy. And um, here, uh, you know, finally we can talk about um, the, um, uh, go back to the uh, main chart for the course, one quad in UAD is 10 to the 15 a quintillion BTUs. All right, and I wanted to get to that point so that we can start to have um, more discussion about this chart that we'll be working off of. Focus. There's got to be some uh, way for me to figure out how to make this thing focus. All right, I'll give up. All right, you'll have to look in your notes there. But basically, um, I, I apologize, it's out of focus. But um, I just wanted to connect for you uh, before this, you know, before we, I stopped taking videos for this week, that um, this chart is in um, quads. And uh, each of the quantities over here on the left is, is a quad, which is 10 to the 15 BTUs, and so now you know what that is. And it's, it's kind of a useful way to uh, describe the energy consumption in the United States because we use about 100 quads. And so it's a nice round unit of energy in terms of, of what we use. Okay, I'll stop there, and I apologize for it being out of focus here at the end, but we'll discuss this um, in the chat sessions.